And this is huge. Victor getting aggressive in mid, and right behind him is Marv. There's trade potential, and they're going to catch the Lurk. If they catch this Lurk, they're pretty much going to sniff out that this is C. The problem is that there's no one C, Alex. Yeah, exactly. So you didn't get the flank. At least they got rid of the utility from Cypher. Now they can play a retake on a five-player rotation. What's going to be dangerous for Hunter Thieves at this point is that they won't even really know where to look out for, right? So they have to position, they have to play inside the site. And due to the fact that you bought two flashes and also a Frenzy, you don't have a regrowth to bring the HP back up for Hunter Thieves. You also have a Recon Dart coming out, as well as an L Drone, so this is going to give a lot of information. Dangerous. As they come around the corner, the Dart giving away their positions on both sides. Ooh. Nitro decides to swing wide towards the CT spawn, but it doesn't work out so well as Mummy is there waiting. And the trades are piling up in favor of Envy. Nice Shock Dart coming out from Hiko. Thought in their heads that they're maybe going to play a little bit aggressive, just like they did on A, and you can see that thought is not inaccurate. Mummy pushing up, caught out. There's Crashies who's going to get traded. Much, but not necessarily knowing where actually FNS is, and there you go. They finally Player spot him standing. face to face. A Spectre versus a Phantom is not going to work out too much. Hot hands going up around the corner. Paranoia as well. That forces the Cypher into position. I love what they're doing with Mummy, but Mummy just gets spammed down. Hiko's actually able to pick up two with the ult. Has gone ahead and dropped the cage to try to escape. He knows he's got players trapped on long. There's a tripwire going down. Asuna. Catches FNS coming through, has to worry there's one waiting around the corner, but it doesn't seem to stop him now. The spike's been stuck, and they've got it just about halfway. Vic has to pull off. That actually could end up being punishing here, as Ethan's coming from the same spot. And again, the spike does not get to halfway. Not that it matters anyway. Mummy's on the site, the last player remaining. Is already back on this flank with Victor. Great ding shot coming out. More damage being dealt to Nitro than you'd expect, based on the fact that that first shot came through. They do, however, have one up on site already. There's a tripwire around the corner, and that's going to keep them at bay. They have to shoot it. Nitro knows he's got players behind him, just trying to buy time at this point. Paranoia comes out. The smokes come out. Now, in the meantime, Mummy has actually managed to pick off Ethan. But there's the Killjoy ult to try to get them back into the site. The spike has not been planted. Steel does have the Odin, but the LMG not able to fire enough bullets fast enough to get the kill. He goes around the corner, and there's just targets dancing around on the edges of that smoke, making it difficult. Positions given away as they try to get their way towards the C site. Nice. First, it's the Flash coming out. Now Mummy's in trouble, missing the first shot, having to smoke the, the dart as well to prevent his position from being given away. Asuna already gone on the site. There's the quick trade as well after Asuna falls. It's a three on two. The two remaining, Victor and Crashies, one-two punch, who transferred over to this team and brought a new life to them. First kill is going to go the way of Victor, and now it's down to just one player, but it's Hiko, the clutch god. Nothing is ever guaranteed. The shock dart comes out. Gets a little aggressive with the second shock dart, but it works. They don't peek wide enough. Thought they would. Low HP coming in. It's going to be Hiko with the Red Bull Clutch. A big 1v2. Guided Light to come out to force Mummy out of position. To not allow Mummy to get these kills and speed him up kills. It's just going to be Victor working down towards his sewer again. Crash is moving forward. And again, it's the Victor and Crashy show looking for a couple more kills. There's a thing through the wall. And we have shock darts coming out too. And he connects onto the Ethan. Oh, no, my God. He's got everything on lockdown here, Bach. And poured over to the C site, at the very least get a spike plant out. It's a 1v4. Not to say he's incapable of clutching, but it's certainly going to be difficult. The first kill will go the way of Nitro. He's got two more coming through from Garage Fake Port to make them guess and wonder on his position. Smoke's going to go down right in front of him. I actually love the way he set this one up because he can play off this smoke so well. He steps inside. He's got a target right to his left, and he's got a target who's now on top of the spike. He's got a peek towards it. He's a little bit afraid. There's another one coming in from Nitro. 72 HP, goes to the sidearm, oh. gets caught cycling weapons. There was an opportunity there, a moment where it looked like it was going to happen, but it doesn't. The cross, but doesn't spot them and does get timing to bit, but it's nice shots at least on the first target. Meanwhile, a great flash coming out from Ethan, but the <laughs> frenzy kind of not working out so well. It gets paranoid from the side. There's kills happening on all angles. Trades going in multiple directions, but it's currently Envy who is in control. They still have not yet planted the spike. So even though they have sight control, they haven't done much with it. It's Nitro in a 1v3. And luckily, if the spike's planted, he can't really win the round if he's dead. So at least that's <laughs> another threat that's taken off the table. And there's still a lot of players around this corner. And Ethan, even just going for this peak is a little bit risky, but they catch Crashies in the drone. Ethan's able to find a second one. Nice flash coming out as well to scare them away. And Ethan escapes.
great mid-round recovery there. After losing an early battle, they regain control of short, and they punish Envy by trapping them all in this small square on long A. Ethan still battling on Sirius at the same time. It's going to be the Bane switch. You focus on Ethan, you got a couple in the back of the site. It's not going to be doable here. And Ethan even makes a 4K on top of that. So you still have full kit. Get out of my way. Yeah, you still have full kit for Envy. You're going to dash away with this as well. It's going to be a hard spot here. And they even take him out. There you go. Yeah, that's an early pickup. And now that's a weapon pickup as well. Now the Seekers do come out to try to help things. Ooh. You can see Mummy was struggling with, do I pull out my Four gun and kill this Seeker? He just tries to moonwalk away, but can't get away far enough. Marved down to one HP after the shock dart comes through. They're trying to do what they can as the Killjoy ult has been popped to try to keep them away from the site. It's a two on two though. Marved still alive with only one HP. And there's that Killjoy ult just providing a little bit of extra time. Ethan also low on one HP. It's really a battle between Victor and Nitro. As the flash comes out from both sides, there's the peak. Marved able to pick up a kill with one Woo! HP. Marved is actually going to get the last two. That is a big thrifty round coming in for Envy. He does have Blade Storm, and we're looking for a fast hit towards the A site. Speed is the name of the game as they try to gain access to the A site, like you said. Mummy has to be careful, caught in the tripwire. Steel spraying in all directions, manages to get a few kills there before going down. The site's been secured, but safety is not guaranteed. Got to be careful about the players away. He've got, he's got pings going down in spawn yeah. saying, this is where they're running, this is where they're at. Ethan catches him over on the site, and I'm sure there's that conversation going on. What are you doing? Why are you here? Arm inside the window, not prepared way as Victor has popped his ult and he'll go ahead and throw hot hands down just to try to keep them from running towards the site there's the information gained they almost didn't get any but Steel is already on the wow. flank watching for the uh the body of the Phoenix the Phoenix had already jumped out window though before the ult was popped it was Marved who was up in window got caught off guard and now it's all up to mommy we talked about him coming into the pregame it was him versus Asuna will he shine here in a one versus three Tiger nope. comes out around the corner yeah good luck <laughs> <laughs> Stunned and dazed, he tries to retreat, but currently utilizing the Cypher utility on A, where Cypher is actually playing on B. There's the cage coming in, shock darts to follow, recon darts out. It's chaos on the site right now, pandemonium as Hiko is not prepared for Mame, who's lurking around inside the cover on site. And there's the spike plant we were talking about as the Seekers come out. FNS will stick it. But FNS did not get an orb or a kill first, so there is no ult here available just yet. Mummy trying to lock it down, doesn't have the op. This time he's doing it with the rifle. It's now down to two, Asuna and Ethan. Ethan coming through from spawn. The guided light gives away the information, but the kill is not gathered up as Mame has now found three kills on the round. Goes for the knives, wants the guarantee here. Has to be careful as that smoke dissipates. The hand will show around the corner. Asuna now is trying to isolate in this 1v1 with crashies. But dealing ults, but look at Marved on the back end of this play. Marved is going to be the big piece of this. We'll catch the first. Does he get the second? No. Asuna getting one puts them in a better position because if Marved had killed him, you've got Steel on Long who's trapped inside the ult. It would have been another free kill potentially. That would have been a huge swing for Envy. They don't know that FNS is here though, so he might get a huge kill onto Asuna. Still doing some work towards the A side though. They're moving in towards the site block. There's the tap on the spike after the neural theft comes through. Steel peels off him for getting it halfway. And now it's come down to Crashies. He's got a recon dart, but he has to wait. Can't really do much. Hiko will get the defuse. It will be 13-9 in favor of 100 Thieves as they take the first map in this series. For enemies trying to cross over the A site. But look how passive the B site is. And look how fast we are towards the mid side. And it's going to be Mummy opening up with two kills. FNS tries to help out as well. The frenzy from behind. There's that poisonous orb. We were talking about that. Whether or not that would be enough to try to keep them at bay as they make their way onto the B site. They do have the spike in their possession, but it's not exactly safe as targets are looming on all sides. And now it's down to the last remaining player. It's Hiko on long, and it's a solid pistol round for Envy. Mummy swings wide around the corner. There's the early pickup. Shot in the top of the head by Steel, who was actually above. The shock dart is almost on the money. Steel's barely left standing. Again, no sky, no sage, no heals. Asuna catching one inside the nano swarm. It makes wow. it a little bit easier, but it's fallen down onto FNS, who scooped up a phantom. And I actually like this. 
FNS uses the util and now is falling off and he might catch them on the run back. They're not going to be ready for He's this and they're it. both so low on HP. Oh, this could be free. Ooh. Or not. <laughs> or not. Ow. Still going to be steel again. He's on a late lurk, but he's about to get pinched from both sides. That, that's what we're talking about. He gets his mid take. Now he gets a flank. They have to focus on this mid side for Envy. Finally gets traded out, but the spike is yet to be planted. Nice shots from distance with the Phantom. 11 seconds left. They kill the spike planter, and now it's on Mummy. Mummy's escaped, but they've got to stick the spike. They don't have a choice. Nico just goes for it. It's a 1v1. It's Mummy, who's currently got two on the round. And there were great shots, but he goes at full HP, still has both shock darts. Mummy's just and he's also here. the clutch king. Like, we know what to expect. He's in a great position as well. He's playing so passively, forcing Mummy to walk towards him more and more. Mummy now coming through next to the spike at the bottom of tube, running out of time to try to peek this. There's the swing back from Mummy. It's a 3K. Anticipate a player being across already. Look at the position on the other side of the smoke, though. Well played from Crashies to trade it back the other direction. As they try to make their way towards the B site. Util being popped on both sides. There's the ult, though, coming up from Nitro, and that's going to make things incredibly difficult for Envy on the retake. Spike being still planted. back. Planted. Nice shot coming up from Marved. Hold on. This was looking really promising, but now Marved's in a great position. Just has to be careful. He goes right around the corner. He wins the fight. SMG versus Rifle. It'll be the SMG. I like the off shot swap out. Well, Mommy's going full Fortnite right now as he spirals left and right, diving onto the site. Don't, you know, judge the man for oh his my building God. capabilities. The dash away as well to escape the threat. The updraft coming in. The movement's on point right now for Mummy. But Hiko is dodging in every way possible to avoid a direct fight. And he's already escaped on the site. Mummy doesn't realize. And now yeah. the clock is gone. With this half, they're looking to work back for the A side again. And that's a huge thing. FNS may die if he doesn't. It's a good thing because this Killjoy ult is going to be very important. And not only that, using that ult there means oh. they don't have it, but so much for that. FNS caught off guard by Steel, who's playing hyper aggressive as KJ. The knives come out for Mummy, and despite the fact that it looked like he sliced him into a million pieces, they just hit the GG easy button. The ult being used as well to get one behind enemy lines. But you gotta be careful here. They lost one player. Victor's gonna get picked off on the flank. Caught inside the lockdown. Nitro just chilling currently inside the smoke of his old. See the play from Mummy, I respect it. The attempt to dash up quick. Ethan is in a really good spot, but now finally his play is gonna pan out. Success is there for Ethan, but they just lost Nitro in sight. That means the cover they had has now disappeared. Big fat paranoia coming oh. out, but Marv gets the timing. It's up to Hiko again. 39 HP in a dream. He's the clutch god, but can he do it again? Gets the first target, but no, Marv is there and waiting. That's a huge 4K from the most recent player. Opponents are down two. And there's the Killjoy ult coming out from FNS. Now, Victor is pinged currently by the drone. They're trying to gain access to the site. They want to try and cancel this ult if they can, but they're going to guard it with their lives. They're actually going to get a couple on this one, potentially. Yeah, two players oh. getting detained. And FNS is going to have a field day with this one. Hiko's coming in to try to save them, and oh. thank God Hiko got there as fast as he did, because FNS should have been able to find a second. And he's the saving grace on the round, even though Hiko didn't win the clutch the last round. That's a clutch moment that won't get highlighted all that much. Getting there that quickly... Turning things from a three on one to a two on two. The Al Jones just came out. He still has a Hunter's Fury for Crashies. You just want to stay alive towards the back of this site. It's a fake plant left. to try to push him out. Oh, and now he's pinned. He's in such a tough spot. He needs help from Marv right now. Kate peeking currently. There's the snake fight coming up. There's the swing from Marv. But it's now down to just 20 seconds and a 1v1. The spike is inside that snake bite. Marv has great gained position. If I'm Marv, I just swing off that dart, and that's exactly what he does. He goes for that wide swing. 10 seconds left now. Almost caught with a snake bite, but there's the snake bite going down. Hiko doesn't have a choice. Has to go towards the spike or go for the fight. Four seconds. Tries to force it again, but Marv isn't falling for it. He's falling oh! into the site. Hiko! With just a fraction of a second left in the round, 100 Thieves somehow steal that one away from Envy. Janitor right now for the team.
Let me just sweep it up. 7 of 4 right now. 400 thieves, and that's an upshot in the face of Victor. And a second one from Seal onto Mummy, and that's an open A site almost here as the Hunter rings out but doesn't get the kill. Spike is now planted. Asuna looking for this four on two. As Envy is looking to retake this site, but that turret's gonna go up, but it's not gonna do much. Asuna actually gets the kill. Here's that Hunter's Fury to come out, and this should seal the deal. There you go, 100 Thieves are gonna win this half eight to four, but not more comfortable, comfortable enough to take it. Well, this round, <laughs> a couple of bodies try to just get rid of the turret. And Steel, uh, Steel had open season, but only does damage. Chip damage coming down. Marv inside kitchen. Kiko looking for this kill. The spike at least gets planted. So this is an early make that a three on three as Austin is trying to rotate in with his teammates. Three towards the pipes. But Mummy and Victor are in a great crossfire set up by the site. Trying to go for the bait and switch. And as we're rotating back here, this is a huge leer. And this might calm things down for a bit and give the advantage back for Envy. Yep. There's another pistol round for Envy with the Odin. And look at the angle he's gone with. It's a full-on rat play coming out from Steel. The Leer is coming out too, and it's a huge crossfire setup, and that's it. I mean, the Owl Drone that comes out, 100 Thieves knows his hit's coming towards his B site, because he has such a big flank from Ethan. And there you go, Mark gets caught. It's gonna be hard to retake here for Envy on the site. Yeah, uh, that's quite difficult for Envy now that you've lost your smokes. You don't have any remaining control on the map. You don't have a Sage Wall to fight with. You don't have the backup of the Omen remaining. quite like 100 Thieves does. This is what we were talking about highlighting in the pregame. It went on a, a kind of a tirade and won the last oh. seven rounds of the first half. So incredible stuff from x -Set. But back to the game Big at push, hand. Yeah. Envy's gotten onto the site, or at least they thought they did. Then the defender's Killjoy ult comes out, and that forces them all outside of that bubble. But what's inside the bubble is the spike. That allows great repositioning, and Nitro's done this before. Oh! There's a dive bomb into it. I love the play from Mummy to try and prevent that from being a threat, but Crashies That's dies to a snake bite in the meantime. Luckily, they've reduced it down to one. It's only Easy people left remaining with 10 HP. There was just such a big battle happening to him for that A side at least to a tie point guarantee. Ethan's playing such a good angle, Huge. looking for someone over top of that smoke. Can't do enough damage. We'll actually get away, and not only that, we're up onto the balcony the from rafters has to concern himself with the dark position has been given away again but the same could be said for the other direction as they peel back a little bit further crashes alone as the smoke the one way giving steel opportunities to strike and it's now finesse vic 2v4 35 seconds left on the clock spike control is theirs but steel's got the best hp possible for left. the scenario or all yeah. scenarios for that matter not anymore as they're trying to push forward and they swing it back, but you still have Hiko inside that site. So he's in the back and there's that ult. So I, I talked about the ult orb that they can pick up, but this time from a kill that's huge. Now we try to go for a plant. We force the defenders out. So this is actually now doable here. FNS only low HP. He has a full kit though. So he could put an alarm bot towards the spawn site, but he actually doesn't want to give his position away. He just wants to play the off angle and hopefully at least get one before he dies. Oh, oh no. no, that's not what you want to see. They relied on him so much, and that's exactly why we were saying, oh no. Unfortunately, it's not the case. Now we have Hunter's Fury coming out here from Crashies, and we're trying to just explode on this mid take, and Asuna is trying to pop off, but is only good for one, as the trades are still going back and forth, but it's still going to be the advantage coming in for Hunter Thieves. One enemy remaining. That's a kill again. You need to see go the way of Vic. Victor falls short despite having Empress and Ethan being low on HP, now the pressure is on for Crashies. The drone was out, leaning in his direction, has to fall back. I kind of like the position, but at the same point in time, I, I don't know what to think about it. It's such a tough spot to put yourself in, in a 1vx, Especially guaranteeing a at least funneling from one direction. Here comes the first one. Maybe a second, not gonna happen. 100 Thieves has punched their ticket into the upper finals, guaranteeing themselves a spot at Challenger's playoffs.